You can cook up many dishes with leftover holiday turkey, but today on Grandma Bessie's house, we are cooking one of my favorites. Our turkey cheeseburger soup is creamy and delicious, and one we hope you will adopt as a holiday leftover tradition. The recipe and its ingredients are in the video's description. For this recipe, you will need leftover holiday turkey, ground beef, cornstarch, Montreal steak seasoning, salt and pepper. Please take a second to like and share this video. If you enjoy our channel's recipes or gardening and outdoor videos, subscribe to our channel. Click the notifications link to stay current on new topics. Back to the ingredients, sharp cheddar cheese, a can of Rotel tomatoes, russet potatoes, chicken broth, an onion, garlic, plus carrots, celery, and green onions. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and on the stovetop, boil a pot of water. Start prepping the vegetables by peeling and chopping the carrots. Also, peel and chop the potatoes. Chop one potato into small chunks for roasting. Chop the other two potatoes into medium to large chunks for boiling. When the water in the pot starts boiling, place the larger cut potatoes in it. Reduce the heat to medium and boil until the potatoes are fork tender, about 15 to 20 minutes. While the potatoes are boiling, coat the carrots in smaller cut potatoes with olive oil. Place them on a sheet pan and season with a little salt and pepper. Roast in the oven until they brown a little, about 25 to 30 minutes. When the boiled and roasted vegetables finish cooking, allow them to cool. Also, separate the carrots from the potatoes. Now it's time to chop our onions. And celery. Mince the garlic. Over medium heat, spray a skillet with nonstick spray and coat it with olive oil. Add the onions and celery. Cook until soft and onions become translucent, about five minutes. Add the garlic and cook for another minute. Remove half of the seasoning and place it in a bowl to cool. We were wondering, what do you cook with leftover turkey? Let us know by leaving a comment below. Add the ground beef to the skillet and start breaking it into smaller pieces with a potato masher. Season the meat with Montreal steak seasoning and combine it as it cooks. Continue to break up the meat until it reaches the size chunks you want to bite into while eating the soup. Cook for a total of four to five minutes and remove it from the heat. Once the roasted carrots and boiled potatoes are completely cooled, add them to the blender. Add the cornstarch.
reserved cooled vegetable seasoning, and chicken broth. Blend on high speed until fully combined and thickened, about 45 seconds to one minute. To put the soup together, place a large pot over medium heat and spray it with nonstick spray. Add the cooked ground beef. Stir it and add the chicken broth mixture. Stir until fully combined and then add the salt and pepper. Combine again and allow the soup to begin to boil. Reduce the heat to simmer and add the can of Rotel tomatoes. Again, stir until fully combined. Allow the soup to cook and simmer for 10 minutes, constantly stirring to avoid the soup sticking to the bottom of the pot. After 10 minutes, add the leftover turkey, and half of the sliced green onions. Simmer for five minutes while occasionally stirring. Don't forget to like and share this video. If you are enjoying the recipe, subscribe to our channel and click the notifications link. Add the sharp cheddar cheese, Combine it until the cheese fully melts into the soup. Add the roasted potatoes and combine. This soup is filling, creamy, and delicious. Plus, it will warm you on a cold winter day. Thank you for watching another episode of Grandma Bessie's House.